Chapter 25, Lost Ones. Once Nina arrived at work, Devonna asked her if she would take her to the mall. Saxton had taken the other children to work with him. Jack was more than happy to hit the studio. What time do you want me to pick you up? Nina asked before pulling off. Give me about two hours. Okay, you be ready and be safe. Devonna hurried to the food court where she would be meeting Hale and his friends Cassidy and Brian. Hale was cute. His mother was Irish white and his father was black. He had silky dark hair, thick eyebrows, and was already 13. Devonna would not be 13 until that November. They headed over to her table. What do you guys want? She asked. They all chose to get pizza and sat down to eat. Hell and his friend Brian paid for the food. Meanwhile, at the record company, Saxton was on his way back to the office when he heard Jack rapping. Stop living for the weekend, live for today. A whole lot of things might be at stake. Your peace of mind plus your sanity. Any day show your love for family. Never know when some calamity might come into your world like a crazy bat hurl. Saxon did not enter the suite right away, but there was his little brother rapping to Charlize. She was impressed by the youngster. That's when Saxton realized he and his younger brother not only had the same taste for pretty girls, they also liked writing rhymes. And you wrote that yourself? Charlize asked. Yep. I got a whole book of rhymes. Why haven't you told Saxton? Uh... Because he wants me to concentrate on my education. You can do both, can't you? Um, I don't know. Saxton finally made himself known as he entered the suite. Saxton, you should hear your little brother rap. Oh, yeah? Saxton said he was not only six feet and good looking, but Charlize realized that when he smiled, he lit up a room. Well, let me hear it. Jack rapped again. And Saxton clap. That's good, little bro. Maybe I should get you into a studio to record a demo or something. Wait! Oh, for real? Yeah, why not? He headed to his office. The smaller girl started complaining about being hungry, but Saxton told Charlize to take the kids to get something to eat and take them home and take the rest of the day off. Once Charlize got the children home, Devonna had returned. Hey, Charlize. Hey, Dev. What you been doing all day since you didn't want to hang out with your brother at work today? I guess that's not an ideal way to spend your summer, huh? Oh, I went to the mall. Okay. Did you have fun? Charlize, can I tell you something? Sure. What? They headed up to Devonna's room and sat on the bed. I saw that cute boy today. Hell. Oh, really? What did y'all do? Well, we hung out at the mall, played a few games in the game room. You really like him, don't you? Devonna smiled. Yes, I do. I hope we stay with Saxton because Hill goes to Shaw Middle School. I know Saxton has already registered you in schools over here, so I'm sure. Hill told me he liked me today. Oh, wow. Please don't tell Saxton. Well, now that's for you to tell. But why don't you want him to know? Because I overheard him tell Jack one day that he used to beat up all Monica's boyfriend. Monica was two years younger than Saxton. I won't tell. But that would be between y'all guys. But if you ever need to talk, I'm here, okay?